Hello and welcome back to Sly Raccoon. I'm Octoax and this is Sly Raccoon. In the last episode, we went through a couple levels that were kind of nerve wracking. I mean, the first one we did was like. <coughs> it was a giant snake who tried to eat our body. But we did not like that, did we? We did not. And in this episode, we're gonna jump into a shooting level with a moving turret. This is very interesting kind of level. So now we're gonna have to shoot all of the ghosts come out of the shrines. Now this this section, I'm I mean, I didn't hate it, I didn't love it. I always prefer the platforming levels with the clue bottles and stuff. I mean, this is basically just move away and shoot the people. I never, I never found when I, especially when I was a kid, never found uh, that like shooting games so fun. I mean, unless they did have like some sort of twerk, shit. Unless they didn't have some sort of like tweak to it. I mean, take like Fallout for example. That's like a shooter, but it's like it's an RPG too, so it's not just a shooter. That's my biggest problem with Call of Duty. That and it, it's like comes out every year. I mean, ugh. that is it is just a first-person shooter. That is it. I mean, <laughs> but at the same time, I like Halo. But that's mostly because the kinds of weapons. Because I mean, it's like in the future with space stuff. So it's gonna be space weapons, which is pretty cool. So it's like a bigger variety of weapons. And also I love Master Chief's voice. I mean that's a factor too. Don't kill me guys. Again. Okay. Let's break our way through these walls. Kill this busted, which is behind the wall. There you go. Let's try to collect a uh, lucky charm. Which I've been told they are called lucky charms, okay? I know I say horseshoes, but it's lucky charm, I get it. But, I mean, it is a horseshoe. So you can't blame me for saying horseshoe. Because it's actually what it is. I might sometimes I might say like a charm. Sometimes I will die by your hand. Nah, but sometimes I will say for sure. And sometimes like a charm. I mean, I can't really control it. I say whatever pops into my head. If you have not noticed that yet, I do that. Well, oh. I gotta yeah, do a little water. Sorry. I remember this part. This is my lead. This is a favorite part of the game. Because you have to shoot your way through to the thing. And there are ghosts coming to steal your booty. But you don't succeed. Speaking of which, uh, I've talked about Ratchet Pack several times. Uh, but I found something that is pretty interesting. Almost every version of Ratchet, every game of Ratchet and Clank can be transferred into like sexual, like an innuendo like a crack in time like it's like a crack uh, quest for booty which is like the obvious what that means uh, what do we get up your arsenal arse is like ass in British I think I mean and maybe not all games I mean all for one is like yeah it's pretty eh. and I don't know Nexus I don't think so but I, it was a fun little theory and uh, I found myself laughing at it I mean quest for it I mean, up your arsenal was called gladiator in Europe because of the arsenal thing so I mean I don't know 
Why do I die all the time? I don't like this. Now I'm gonna get a pity lucky charm, probably. No? I wish I got one. Don't kill me. Oh my god. I'll see you guys soon. God damn it. Okay, and we're back again. This took a while to get back. Don't kill yourself immediately, dude. Man. Ah, this is hard. I can't even... Okay, kill that guy. But you can't stay at, stay at the same spot, because then the guy's head will hit you, and you can't really move back, because then when you move forward, the ghosty guy takes you. And so, you, all, you have to, all you can do is move forward, but you can't, because there's a wall in the way. Really? We were this close to the end? Fuck you. Hey, fuck. Ah! Shit. At least I had a gold sharp. Okay, kill that thing. I only have two to worry about. Let's take this one on the right first. Got it. I want the points. I am greedy. I am greedy avaricious. All of the loot. Shit, that was close. Thank you. Do we get gets the key? Error? There we go. Fifty-four percent, y'all. Oh yeah. Now I talked in the last episode about how recently I've listened to uh, a lot of Colin Hay. And uh I feel like I should elaborate on why, because <laughs> I mean it's very I mean obscure. Because I mean it's not a lot, but it's mostly because he did a lot of work for uh, Scrubs, which is like my favorite show of all time. For some reason, I mean maybe it's not probably not my favorite, but one of them, one of my favorites. And okay, shit you, fuck, fuck yeah man. Fuck yeah. And uh, I just. If there's one thing I really hated about Scrubs, it was last well, season. Obviously. It was such a perfect ending with JD looking into his future so on that no white choice. sheet that on the last the episode of season 8. Radio, and, and like. And like, see, for the. For, for like, team saying. Maybe for once, my imag my like imagination may become true, which was like the greatest ending ever for a series, in my opinion. But uh, it's just okay. We gotta kill a lot of chickens. Let's kill all of the chickens. This might take a while. A lot, of, a, a lot of cutting, because this is very hard. I do remember it vividly. And we can't go near these guys, because they will kill you with the bombs they are holding. Like that. At least I had luck charm. Don't do it again! Oof, that was close. That was too close for comfort. I have to get 50 of these bitches? This is this is a it ain't going good. Don't touch me. I will call the police. Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna cut all this out because it's gonna take a while. Got it! Third try actually. I didn't take that long. It was much easier than I remember. I just zoned out and like did it. I'm proud of myself. That one. Now, believe it or not, we're actually going to do the boss in this episode too. The boss already, yeah. It's been like two episodes since the last boss. This is a kind of a short game, but you know we'll do our best to make it memorable. 
kill all the guys with the thing. Now we're just going to have to jump on the thing and we're going to get the cutscene with the Miss Ruby. And as I said, this boss battle is my least favorite. You'll see why. A deadly dance. Mm -hmm. I could feel that Koopa vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if Jaws need to fly, she talks blah, blah, so. Blah, Slowly. See you in the next world, Slack Hoopa. This first part ain't that bad. I said nothing. Forget everything I just said in the past two seconds. Now, yeah, you forgot it. Okay, good. This first part ain't that hard. See, you forgot it, and I said it again. So. No harm done. Yeah, but basically, this first part, you just have to jump on the teeth and then hit her in the face. Or butt, or whatever. Come back now here. comes the boring part. Run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant, Chumley, escort you over here? Alright. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Yeah, sounds easy enough. I'm basically button mashing. Because this is very precise and I can't... I do have the feel of, you know, beat. But, I mean, this game is just... Ugh. I mean, this was the early PS2 era, so everything wasn't perfect. I mean, not that it's perfect now. If you listen close, you can actually hear her say or make a sound and Sly do the same when it's his turn. I'm gonna let you listen this time. Maybe not. I, I I'm sorry. I was just kidding. I was totally that that was that was of course with purpose. Ha. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of cutting in this episode. I can I can tell. Okay. Let's try this part again. You hear that? Dun 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 dun. Yeah, that's me button mashing. It's good that the game doesn't punish me for it. Voo do. Voo do. Slow mo. Last part. Let's see if we can do this. It 
this is so fuck! I talked. Damn it. And the game over, of course. Why did, would this be easy? At least I got my lucky charm now. I'll meet you back at that segment again. Come back here. All right. Oh, I forgot. We have to go through this explanation every time we get a game over. I forgot about that. Okay, I just wanted to, you know, to tell you that. Tell you my pain. This is my pain right now. This is bane of my existence. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Now I have my. I still have my lucky charm too, so I get one extra hit. Let's see how far it goes. Shit, shit, shit! Ooh, that was so close. This is so nerve wracking. I'm my butt is so clenched right now. Yes! Gotcha, bitch! You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're Why do they reveal where they co where their companions are? I think I'll manage. It doesn't make sense. The previous raccoonist held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Well, shit. So, Probably next time. Have all been out. We'll go to China. Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sly Raccoon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next episode.